good neighbor. Today, I'm still prefabbing lines. That's right, I've been prefabbing lines for the last few days. And let me pick you up and show you exactly what I'm doing. You can see all these lines on the ground are prefab. And uh, that's how I've been doing it. Sticking it on the trash can. First, I gotta cut it up because a lot of the pipe didn't fit. So that's how I been screwing it together with my arms back and forth back and forth so all those lines have been made up but now before they go in or as they go in which one whatever one you prefer we got to test them with air so 40 pounds of air equals 200 pounds of water so as you can see i got this plugged off and I got all that plugged off. And you see, I got about 44 pounds of air in it, maybe 43, whatever you like. However, way your tilted head is tilted. So I uh, leave that in there for a few minutes, make sure it doesn't drop. But here's how you can really tell. You see, I get this right here. This bottle has a little soap in it. So what I do is I pump that up. 40 pounds and I come over here and I I soap up each each joint and if there was any kind of leak this would be bubbling really good so there you go now I'll give you a little here I'm going to drain this down anyway but let's, let's act like this wasn't tight I'm gonna spray a little soap on it. Oh yeah, you can see already, look at that. You see that soap is soaping up. So that's how you tell if there's a leak, look at that. So, of course that's not a leak, but if it was right there, then I would be in trouble. But of course I'm not in trouble because I meant to do that. So, we pump everything up to 40 pounds, which equals 200 pounds of air. And then we're good to go. But boy, was it a booger sticking all that pipe together. And I'll tell you what, first you gotta find it. And then you gotta put it together. And you can see a lot of it didn't work. Some of, some of it had to be cut up and so, even though this thing has been prefabbed, and pre-design, it still didn't work. That just goes to show you that no matter how many chefs are in the kitchen, the taste just isn't right. But there you go, there's a good example of both pictures, the prefabbed on the ground and the prefabbed in the air. And this is how I found it, all on pallets. So there's some more over there I should probably test. But I tell you what, if you test 99% of it, that other percent should be okay. So all that back there, I probably won't do. You just cross your fingers and pray to the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Well, let's go look at our leak one more time. We sprayed it with soapy water and uh, we sprayed all the other joints. Let's go look at all the other joints. Yeah, pipe fitters work with joints and dope. Look at all those, no bubbles. No bubbles. Then we come over here. That's right, look at that. Bubbles. Soapy water will always tell you where the leak is. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these prefabricated Leak Detecting Soapy Fire Sprinkler Pipe Adventure. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. I said bye bye.